Mabuo tayo lahat. Sekretary Mari Monteo, Sekretary Rinal Mendras, Governor Boboy Cua, Governor uh, Joseph Salceda. Ang <laughs> <laughs> informal ka na pala ngayon. <laughs> Congressman Cesar Sarmiento, uh, Congressman Christopher Co, Representative uh, Rodel Batocabe, Mayor Ilojo, Ilojo, Rodriguez, other mayors from the different municipalities of Catanduanes. Of course, Honorable Motohiko Kato, the Japanese Embassy, Mr. Masanori Kuriso, Dr. Nathaniel Salvando Pagasa, Mr. Saldi Ko of San West, uh, Yusek uh, Benny Ramos, who hopefully will not be very busy this year, <laughs> fellow workers in government, honored guests, mga minamahal ko pong kababayan, paturo kong konti kanina, marhay na aga sa Indugabus. Bigyan pa akong kote ko dito, minemorize ko pa ito kanina. <laughs> Binigyan ako ng sulat, ito na po, tangan-tangan ko. Pag abot ito sa akin, kako medyo makapal yata. <laughs> Pero si Cesar, oh, napaka-reasonable yung tao niyan. Yung sulat to dalawang pahina. Yung iba ho, litrato pala na preba kung bakit may pangangailangan ganito. At syempre, oh, pipilitin natin magawa lahat. <laughs> Ingi ako pa man eh, itong araw na to, hindi tulad ng pangkarniwan eh, Tagalog ang ginagamit ko. Itong araw ko to, dahil sisip-sip tayong ko dito sa mga tumutulong sa atin, i-Englishin ko na. Baka sakali may maisip pa silang padala sa atin. No? Ah, habang marami tayong tinutugunan, eh, pagpasensya na niyo ako kung itong araw na to, eh, hindi ko tayong managalog. No? Let me begin by expressing my sincere gratitude, of course, to the Japanese government and to JICA. for once again supporting our country's efforts at nation building. Japan has been a true friend of our country, always ready to assist us in shaping a more progressive Philippines. To our Japanese partners in the audience, arigato gozaimashita. <laughs> Rest assured that the Philippines will always be ready to do what it can to return your kindness. Our country is hit by at least 20 to 24 storms each and every year. The Bicol region alone has been hit by 38 storms in the past 21 years. That's nearly twice a year. And these days, natural calamities are only becoming frequent and more severe, not only in the Philippines, but the rest of the world. Many of us still carry painful memories of what we lost to nature's fury in recent years. Excuse me. In fact, the five most damaging typhoons in our country have all hit us within the last five years, causing billions of pesos in damages. This is precisely why we have been working tirelessly to improve our disaster response capabilities so that we will and can minimize all of these damages. Our people's lives and livelihoods are at stake here, and it is the government's responsibility to do everything in its power to be ready for these natural disasters. We must continue focusing more of our resources into creating a system that will better warn us and our people about possible typhoons. Today, this is exactly what is happening in Catanduanes, and I am very happy to be here to witness all of these. We are inaugurating this Pagasa Doppler Radar Station, which will help us more accurately predict the effects of weather patterns. This will give us more information and will help us predict more accurately the direction, the impact, and the intensity of weather disturbances approaching our country. This means that we'll be better prepared, that fewer Filipinos will be victimized by the vagaries of weather. The weather patterns will continue, especially in the Bicol region, and right here in Catanduanes. But while the bright days ahead will occasionally be marred by showers or even typhoons, we can ensure the people here that our administration is readier than ever to respond to these threats and to help our people recover if not avoid potential damages. We have had early success in this regard. In fact, just a few days ago, I was in Cagayan de Oro already inaugurating some housing units to replace the ones destroyed by Typhoon Sendong, all in a period of about four months. While this Doppler radar enhances our ability to deal with nature's fury, we are also here to take advantage of nature's bounty. By flicking on the Sol Solong and Hitoma One mini hydropower plants, we are harnessing the power of nature. We will be using the river currents that go through this island to provide power to the people of Catanduanes. 
So what we're doing here today isn't just about protecting our people from the wrath of nature, it's about taking advantage of nature to move the country upwards. These projects are clear signs that your government is doing everything it can to make sure that this new era of optimism, growth, and confidence will not leave anyone behind. By harnessing the nurturing power of nature and by dealing with nature's fury, we can be sure that better days await the people of Catanduanes. We are allowing them once again to be very optimistic about their futures. The renewed optimism is clear, not just in Catanduanes, not just within the country, but around the world. The change this country is going through has been acknowledged and praised by several members of the international community. If one looks at the international, and I have to emphasize, if one looks at international news coverage, many are bullish about the Philippines. This has not happened in years, and it is a clear indicator that we are headed in the right direction. For instance, the Financial Times has noted the positive changes in our economy and has pointed out that our country which once was a debtor nation, has now become a creditor nation, helping boy struggling economies in Europe. Many people in the world over believe that our country is finally on the path towards fulfilling its potential. And we fully intend to match their expectations, not just by focusing on the economy, but by making sure that the benefits of economic growth reaches all Filipinos. This is what we are doing here in Catanduanes, fulfilling our promise of inclusive growth. Our efforts to restore the true spirit of public service has yielded results and financial rewards that have made these worthwhile projects possible. It is this determination and sincerity to address corruption that has gained renown internationally. And that will and is translating into a significant improvement in the lives of our people. Rest assured, we will not stop here. With a government revitalized by the spirit of true public service, with a people that are once again ready to fight for their futures, and with the help of friends in the international community like Japan, we can and we will do even more to make sure that indeed no one is left behind on the straight path, <coughs> excuse me, straight path to progress. In the true spirit of Bayanian, the Filipino people will progress together. Thank you. Good day.